Hello everybody! Hello everyone! I am Jenny the Artsy Rose and welcome back to Yayui's Main Story! Now let's get on to chapter 3! Oh no, wait. <laughs> let's continue with chapter 3. I see. So that's the reason Ayu has been depressed ever since we came to the Spring Village. He must have known that his parents would say something like that when he returned to his estate with Yahui. Are you? That's not something for you to be concerned about. Before I could say anything, Rendal interjects and pats Ayu on the head. Yahui is a grown man. He just has a little trouble controlling his emotions sometimes. What happened earlier isn't a big isn't a big enough deal for you to be upset, so don't worry. He'll come back, Ayumina. You even told the chieftain that you trust him, right? Yes. The best thing you can do for him is trust him and wait. If you still want to go to him, I think that's okay too. Are you and I not to express our agreement? Alright, we still have a little time before we meet up. Until we meet up. Shiroya, are you? How about we go get something to eat in town? Sure. Yay! Let's go! Yeah, let's go! How about you, Yumino? I... I want to be with Yayui. I trust him and part of me wants to wait for him. But if he truly is hurt, I want to be there for him. If he doesn't want to talk, I can just stay with him. It might be better to leave him alone, but I can't do that. I look straight into Rendal's eyes, and as he can read my thoughts, he smiles softly. I see. Take care of Yayui for me. I will. I'm going to find Yayui. I think I know where he might be. Pretty! Look at all these pretty flowers! We have color lilies, maybe some, uh, oh, there's a pansy. Some lilies. Oh, they're so pretty. After leaving the end to search for Yayui, I go straight to a large field of flowers on the edge of Spring Village. I remember the time when Yayui brought me here, when I came to the Spring Village with my parents. It should be right around here, Yayui's favorite spot. While following the clues of my memories, I recall us taking a nap in the shade. That's right, it was under that big tree. We might be there. Trusting my memory, I walk over to the large tree. Um, it should be right around here, Yayui's favorite spot. While following the clues of my memories, I recall us taking a nap in the, s in the shade. That's right, it was under that great tree. He might be there. Trusting my memory, I walk over to the large tree. Uh. Just as I expected, I find Yayui sitting under the giant tree. As soon as he sees me, he smiles sadly. Uh, Yayui? He came all the way to walk back with me. He came all the way to walk back with me. No, you disappeared, so I came to find you. Oh, have a seat. Yayui pats the ground beside him and beckons me over. I sit down, but instead of speaking, a silent mood fills the air. I wonder if I should ask him. Though, I've made it all the way here. I can't figure out what to say. As I'm staring hard at, at my hands, Yayui suddenly grins. Isn't there something you want to ask me? Is he going to answer my question? I softly lift my head and look at Yayui's profile. His long eyelashes cast a shadow on his cheeks, making him look even more forlorn. The chieftain said you were facing some difficult issue. What is it? You are quite discreet. Sorry, but I would be there for you. That's all I could think about. I can't do anything except to listen, but still, I thought it could help you somehow. Yayui now. Yayui's fingertips gently press on my lips. His clear, crystal, crystal clear eyes gaze into mine, and my heart thumps loudly. Yes? Thank you. I understand exactly how you feel. Uh, oh, Yayui. After thinking for a moment, Yayui removes his fingers and leans his back against the tree. My issue. It's not really something I like to talk about. It's not 
something I'm proud of. It's nothing I'm proud of. But I think I can tell you. He then, haltingly, begins to explain, saying that he wouldn't mind telling me. My ancestor, do you know who it is? Yes, it's Lord Summer, who created the Spring Village with Lord Kazamasa, right? Right, my family lineage has continued since Lord Kazamasa's generation, and been second to the Hotori family. Second? Yes, I'm never the one in the spotlight. I'm always the one supporting Ayu. It's the way with my family. It's the same way with my family. We've always planned, played the role of supporting the Hotori family. Oh, but it's not like I don't mind being Ayu's second hand. I've always lived this way. It's just been ingrained in me. Ayu stops there for a moment and sighs. So I'm a candidate for next chieftain, but that role will likely, will most likely go to Ayu by name alone. What? I can't see any appreciable difference in strength between Ayu, Yayui and Ayu. In fact, going by men of experience, Yayui should come out, should come out on top. Yet he has to come in second place because of this business with family lineage? You're thinking it's stupid, right? Randall always says that too. Uh, oh yeah? He has known me the next longest after Ayu. No, maybe even longer. Yeah, Yubi smiles wearily and strokes my hair. No matter how hard I work, I've always been told that I'm second place. Not by the chieftain, but by my own parents. What? That's horrible! How could his own parents say such a cruel thing? It's inevitable. Actually, I was always in second place, even within my own house. Oh my word! Huh? In his own house? Yayui doesn't elaborate. He simply stares straight, straight ahead. That's why the chieftain was starting to talk about. He's done that a lot bringing up my family line. I'm not especially hurt by that. After all, it's truth. But it's still a little painful to have reality slapped in my face. Have reality slapped in my face like that. There's still questions I want to ask Yayui. However, he stops talking and heaves a long, deep sigh. His face as he shuts his eyes is so sorrowful and so despondent. Despondent. Yeah, I know. I'm holding Yayui tightly in my arms. Ayumina? I'm so sorry, Ayu. I made you talk about all that, even though you didn't want to. No, I don't mind. Remember, you're special. Yayui returns my hug, then gently wraps my back. Seeing Yayui, always so confident, strong, and kind, now looking so sad. Even if he says he's not hurt, it must have been really hard on him. He's nice enough to answer my questions. I'm filled with self-approach, self-approach for being so stupid. I'm sorry. Thank you for telling me. Ayumi now. Yayui chuckles and pats me on the head. Pat on the back. When you were sad, it was always my job to make you feel better when you were sad. Now it feels like the roles have been reversed. You don't have to be my fearless big brother when you're the one in pain. I might not be able to do anything for you except to listen. But if I can help lighten your mood, I would be glad to. As I'm speaking, I feel my nose start to clog up. I rub my eyes, getting hot with tears, and Yayui gently grasps, grasps my hand. Don't rub your eyes, they'll get red. But Yayui strokes the corners of my eyes with his fingers, with his finger, and then, as suddenly having an idea, touches my hair.
me. Yeah, he says that's the saddest way to grin. I always thought you were cute, but you've grown up more gorgeous than any flower. Uh, uh, it's a little embarrassing being complimented like that. I stare back at the IUE, my heart pounding. His gentle finger touches my cheek again. You're not only gorgeous, but you're also a happy, bright, and kind woman. You said earlier that all you can do for me is listen, but that's not true. What do you mean? Thanks to your kindness, I feel so much better. Thank you, Ayumina. Yayuri's gaze as he gazes as he murmurs is filled with kindness and gentleness. My heart squeezes in my chest. Do you know the meaning of a rose? Um, no. I know that different flowers have different meanings, but I don't know any specially, specifically. The one I just put in your hair is a pink rose. The traditional meaning of a pink rose in the spring village is pride, and I'm so proud of you. You are? I must look confused, because Yagami grins as he nods. Yes, you are the kindest, strongest, and noblest person I know. My pride. I'm so happy. He truly cares about me like a sister. It makes me feel incredibly happy, and yet, at the same time, my chest faintly twinges with pain. Twinges with pain. What was that? I put my hand over my chest. And then put on a smile to hide that odd sensation. Thank you, Yayumi. Later, I'll press the rose and keep it in a and keep it in a book. Well, that's all for now. I am Jenny the Artsy Rose, and I shall see you in another video. Goodbye.